Well, hello there. So I'm going to make an owl eye summer purse. I'm going to use this yarn. It's called Malila. And uh, it is a just a number four yarn. So I'm using three strands. It's pretty thin number four. And it is, um, oh, where is it? Here it is. It's 45% silk, 35% wool, and 20% nylon. It actually works just like cotton. It has no stretch. So any kind of a cotton uh, will work well. Now, people are going to probably ask me about the three strands. So I'm all set up to, to get going, but I'm just going to show you how to do the, the Navajo quickly. And you can look on YouTube. There are there are lots of uh, videos on how to do the Navajo. And it's just a way of making three strands from one strand. Okay, so all you do is you just make a slip knot. You have to have somewhere to start. And then you put the yarn through that slip knot. Right? Make it nice and big. And then you can fold it over. And now you have three strands. Whoop. You have your beginning here. And now you have your three strands. And so you just start knitting. You're knitting, knitting, knitting with your three strands. And when you get down to here, all you have to do is put yarn through that loop, pull it again, and you have your three strands again. And you just keep going and going with three strands. And it makes it triple thickness. So a DK will give you usually a thin bulky if you if you if you triple it. This one is giving me a um, a thicker bulky because it was a number four, but a thin number four. Okay, so we're using the Malila, and I'm using a orange um, loom that is number two down in the Doris Round Loom Knitting Set. And uh, it's the same as the second one down in the Nifty Knitter. It's 36 pegs, three quarter inch loom. And I believe I'm using 16 pegs. That's about the size of the bag that I want. But you can use any amount you want, even or odd. It doesn't matter. So I put a slip knot on this peg. Then I'm ready to get going. So then all I do is put my hook inside the yarn, pull up a strand or a loop. <laughs> we got this loop here and I'm going to pull this yarn here to keep it nice and tight. And then we just take the loop, put it behind the next peg and the working yarn goes through it and you snug it up behind the next peg. Working yarn through, snug it up. Next peg, working yarn through, snug it up. And you just do that all the way down. I really like Owl Eye with cotton yarn. The silk actually looks just the same as cotton with the stitch. So it's going to make a really pretty bag. And I got the yarn ready quite a ways down. I like to do that, especially at the beginning. There, and we come down and there's my last one. I've marked it. And you just put the loop over, snug it up, and then knit it off. And there you are, your cast on. And I'm going to come down here and just make sure this is nice and tight over there. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is go right into Owl Eye. So if you're making a scarf or a blanket or anything like that, you can go directly into Owl Eye. It lays nice and flat. Okay. So all I did was I put the yarn over this one and over this one, and I'm just going to knit them off. Wherever you are, you're on peg one, you go over one and two, knit it off. On peg one, you go over one and two, 
knit it off and keep it loose so that it doesn't get too hard to knit off and that's all there is to it you're on peg one you go over peg one and two knit them off and that's all there is to it easy yeah the reason i had the yarn ready is i worked up a swatch with the yarn and this yarn you can't get it anymore they don't make it anymore and i really like this yarn <laughs> so i didn't want to waste any of it so i frogged the swatch <laughs> so my yarn was already all put together but I wanted to make sure that on this gauge with the yarn tripled, the stitch looked really nice before I committed to knitting very much of it. And then because I wanted to do a video for you, I did have to frog it. So Okay, and then once I'm here, I just come around and knit and come back. I'll make a strap for this bag too. When I have a cotton yarn, I like to make a strap because the strap isn't stretchy. And so, well, not very stretchy. Of course, every, any knit it has some stretch to it, but the yarn itself has no stretch. If it's a stretchy yarn, then I usually like to just use a strap that doesn't have any stretch even if I have to take it off another bag of some kind and this that's all there is to it you just keep doing the owl eye stitch and you can start whipping along pretty fast the yarn has no stretch so I can't knit it too fast but We finish this row. I'll see if you can see the stitch at all. And I want to get to a place. Ah, we are almost a place there where I have to do the yarn. And you can, don't have to use the Navajo stitch with a thin yarn. You can use a bulky. It's just that I really like this fabric. And I wanted to have a bag in it to match something else. And it wasn't going to work that fast thin to get a thick enough bag so okay so that's all I do is I just put it through and you can go down quite a ways if you want to and uh, put, you just keep putting it through pulling it out I have to be careful because this yarn likes to tangle there we go And that just gives me some more yarn. But they don't make very many yarns with this composition that are thick that you can ever find. So best way for me was to triple the yarn. Okay. So we just take a look at what we're doing here. You can see it's going to be a nice thick knit. It's going to have lots of stitch definition. Okay, so let's put you on pause for a little bit. I'll do a little bit more and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I've gone a bit further. And you can see how the stitch is looking. So it's going to be a nice stitch. And you can see how this cast on that I used is working with it. And the sides are going to be sewn together after. So you're going to want to keep going now 
and you're going to want to keep going until you get about double the lengths you want because we're going to be folding it up and then a little bit more for a flap. So figure out how long you want it to be and then make double that length and a bit more for a flap. And um, we will catch up later on when we have got the, the length that we want. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are and I've got it as long as I want it now. So now all we have to do is bind this off. It's the next thing. And so what we do is we take our yarn and um, it takes quite a bit to bind off. So you want to have it at least two times, two and a half times around perhaps. So then you cut it and um, yeah, cut it. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, because you can leave it long enough to sew the ends, but then it's really hard to, to bind it off because this is, yeah, so we'll just add on yarn. Um, but if you want to, you can leave it long enough there. So then we just thread the yarn needle here. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now is do a um, very stretchy bind off. So we always go uh, down and then around and then up, down, around and up. That's the way we do it. I'm going to go up first because I'll get it through here. Okay. And so then we're just going to go over, we're going to go around. We had to start somewhere. We're going to go down and up and around. And then we go down the next one. Up the one before. And then we go between the two and around and down the new one. I also have this one on my channel. And then up. Always snug it up a bit. And then we're going to go behind and down to the next one. The new one. And back up to the old one. And then in between the two, tighten it, and then down, up, and behind and tighten it, down, up, and between. And down and up and tighten there you see how much shorter our yarns getting already I told you it takes a lot of yarn <laughs> and it does this okay. behind and down And up tighten and behind down up behind And behind, and whoop, <laughs> we have three strands there. <laughs> okay, down, whoop, just 
talking about my three strands here and uh, what's happened here. One, two, ah, one of my strands is just a bit shorter and came off the needle. Okay, there we go. I'll get this all fixed up here. There's my three. It's funny, I just mentioned that and then uh, one of them got tangled and came out of the needle. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so I went down. Then up. And down. And down. And up. And around. Down. Up and, and then we're going to go down this last one here. There we go. Down and up. And then we're done. We go behind and then Gonna go down here, make sure that that's on there good, and uh, I find my loom hook. So I'll just uh, put you on pause first. Okay, got it. And we're just going to slip the loops off. And for me, they're going to be a bit tight. I did them nice and tight here, and it's three strands. So just slowly work off those ones because they'll be the tightest. And you just take them all off. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this and then you're going to uh, sew that in. There we go and get the bind off looking good. And then what we're going to do is figure out how you're going to have the bag to be. And um, I'd like mine to be kind of like this or maybe more like this. So first you're going to weave in your end though before before we do this but and then you're going to figure out where where you're going to have this. So do that. We'll sew in your end and I'll catch you up when we're ready to um, attach the ends. Okay so what I've done is I folded this up and then folded this over until I got this just how I want it. And then what I did is I put a marker where it's going to be. Now I've got it inside out. This is still the top that I want to come over, but it's uh, it's inside out because we're going to sew it from the inside out. So you're just going to bring it up to where the marker is. And um, I only put the marker in. I'm going to actually attach them so they stay. So you just want to attach them so that they stay marked. There. And that will, whoop, that will hold them. Huh. There. <laughs> okay. So that should hold them where they are. So just make sure it's nice and straight. And then what we're going to do is thread your needle and uh, make sure that you're, you've got it nice and straight there. And then we're just going to sew it. So we come in at the very bottom here.
and I have a knot in the end of this, so I'm going to come in and do that. And then all you're going to do, um, although you can sew this any way you like, is I'm just going to come in this side here. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to the very end over here. And I'm actually going to make sure that um, there, it's nice and tight. And then uh, you've come in here, so you're going to look for the next little loop. And if you look at the side here, you're going to see that under where the end is, there's always, see, where the end attaches, you have some holes. So all you're going to do is take this and go down into the next hole, and you'll see two loops there, which is the edge. I'm picking those up. And I'm going to come over to this other side, and I'm going to go into where I came out of, which is right there. And then I'm going to go down from where I came out of on this side. I'm going to go down the next hole, and you'll see that there's the yarn is so thick, but there's two loops there. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to go back over to where I came out on the other side. And then on this other side, I'm going to go over to the next place. Make sure I get it. There we go. Two loops. And then I'm going to go back up. Last place I came out of. And then I'm going to go down the next place. So you can see them here, here, here. Okay. And I'm going to go down the next one. And then back over where I came out of last time. And down the next one over. And then back up where I came out of. And down the next one. Back where I came out of. And down the next one. And back where I came out of. And down the next one. That's all you do. All the way down. Okay, and right now, just, uh, I'm going to actually pull this snug. You don't have to do it um, till you want to do it, but I like to leave knots uh, all the way down because I don't want this to come undone, so I'm just going to do a knot. And I'm just going to do that sporadically as I go down. So you're just going to keep going. And if you want to look at what it looks like, it's just going to be all nice and attached here. Okay. So uh, finish. And when we get close to the edge here, we will catch up. Okay. And then when you get up to the end here, you can take out your clip. And make sure you attach it really good right here. And you can you can look to make sure it's attached really well. And tie some good knots in it. Make sure I get the absolute edge here.
there. And then um, tie a good knot. Okay, and then you're just going to weave the ends in. And just weave it in enough to keep it secure. And you can, um, it's a bag, so if you want to, you can tie more knots in it. And then um, when you've got it all uh, secured, you can just cut it off. And then we do the other side, but um, we can take a look at it a little soon, but you know, you're going to push it out and, and uh, you're just going to yeah, look like that. Okay, so you go ahead and do the other end and then we will catch up. Okay, so now I have it all sewn. Here's what the sides look like. They're all put together. And so here's how the purse is starting to look. I'm just going to zoom, make it a little bit smaller so you can see. Slim out of the way. So there it is. It's attached. It's going to come down like this. I've got it the right side. So what we're going to do now, and and if your edges aren't aren't perfect enough, you can still fix them up. And then you you know put your fingers in, square them up, stretch your bag out a bit, and shape it to some extent, and. Uh, you get it so it's just laying perfect. And then we're going to start on the closure. So get yourself um, yarn and uh, make your slip knot. And you're just going to go on to two pegs here. So I'm just going to cast on to the other peg. And you're going to leave uh, you're going to leave some yarn there. And uh, you just do the loop and put it over. And then you're cast it on, tighten it up, and knit this one over. Oop. Tighten it up. Okay, and then all you're going to do is knit over the two. Like that, and then come back and knit over the two. And come back and knit over the two. Oop. Okay, and I'm going to pull this out a little bit. There we go. Tighten it up and knit over the two. Okay, and I'm going to check it out because if it's too big, I may not use the two strands. And for my purse, like for most of you, you're, you're going to want to, depending on uh, how thick your yarn is. And I think I want a thinner one. So to do a thinner one, huh, that's because this yarn is so thick. I'm just going to take this back apart and do it on one peg and check it out. And um, what you want to do is you want to get the perfect size for putting on here and for the button you're going to use to, to close it. You want it to be strong enough, not too thin, but you don't want it too thick so it's hard to work either. So to get my three strands. I do the knot and I come through and fold it over. And then just want it long enough, do the slip knot and put it on the peg. 
And then to do it on one peg, you just have to keep coming over and knitting it. So whichever way you're coming over, you just keep knitting it like that. And then I'll look at it, and this looks like a nice thickness right here. Okay. You don't want it to be too thick. It's like a one peg I cord. <laughs> And you don't want it to be too thin. And uh, you just make sure you get exactly what you want. Also, you can, uh, at a fabric store or something like that, buy something that goes over too. But I like it to match. And uh, so I'm just going to make my cord. And now for the length of the cord. You're going to figure out how long you want it because you want to be able to pull it over and um, put it over your button. And so I'm just going to get my button. Okay, so here's the button that I'm going to use. I like the, the color and the way it goes with this. So I've got my button and you get this, um, the length that you want it to be. And I'm going to do just one more on it. Okay, and I'm just going to slip it off. And then cut this. And cut this as long as your piece is there. And then I'm just going to put it through here to make sure there and it makes it kind of a knot and so here's your little piece this looks kind of braided here and then um, get your needle um, I'll get my needle again okay and then you're just going to put it on here and you don't want to have it right on the cast on you're going to go into the middle and you're just going to go up one stitch from where you cast it on and put them put it through both sides and uh, I probably can just use my fingers so pull it through one side and then pull it through on the other side there we go Okay, and then you're just going to tie it and just tie them together. Okay, just make sure you have enough here that I'll be able to go through the button. And then what I'm going to do is put the needle through and you're just going to secure that and weave it in. And so you're just going to secure each side. And so um, we'll get back after you've done that. You're going to have your loop here. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to figure out where I'm going to put my button. And I'm going to finish securing this after I've placed it with the button. So I still can adjust it slightly. And um, so... I'm going to bring it down and um, you know, stretch it and shape it and whatever and figure out where the button's going to be. And then just sew on the button and then do your final shaping. Okay, 
So I'll see you when you're you're um, you've got that done. Okay, so the button's attached. So you just come down now with your piece you put on, and there you go. Um, your bag is closed over the button. There we go, and there it is. And then um, all we need now is a strap <laughs> and. Uh, Stretch that out. And um, make sure you've sewed in everything. Make sure you've attached this really well. And make sure it goes over your button to hold your, your purse in. And then um, we're just going to make the straps. So I'm just going to get set up for that. And I will be right back. Okay, so here's my loom, my hook. And uh, we're just going to make an I-cord strap. So I'm going to do a slip knot. And make sure you leave a long enough piece here. And then um, just do the slip knot. And put on number one peg. There we go. And then we're just going to cast on, on three pegs. So we go behind, put the working yarn through and pull, and then just put that one on and tighten that and knit it over. Okay, and then all we're going to do is come around and knit this off. There we go. I'll just keep it a bit tight on the first one. There we go. And come around. And knit it off. Okay. And then I'm just going to make my triple strand longer. There we go. And you just keep doing that. Go around and knit over. And then what you're going to do is make this as long as you want it to be. Okay? And uh, every once in a while you're just going to pull it. And then it will uh, turn into an I-cord strap for you. So just keep knitting it over. Coming around, knitting it over. Okay, and then pulling on it. And it's going to start turning into, as you pull it, it'll start turning into an I cord. See? So just make that as long as you want it to be. You might want it to just go over your shoulder. You might want it to just go um, across the body. Uh, make it as long as you want it to be. And I'll see you when you have it done. Okay, I'm just showing you as I keep pulling it that uh, it turns into this nice I cord to be strong enough and soft enough. Okay, so yeah, as long as you like. Okay, so as soon as you get the length that you want and you want to keep stretching it and trying it on yourself and make sure you get the length you want. And if it gets a little long, you can just tie a knot in in it and you can wear it over your shoulder if you had it as a body bag. So you can shorten it a bit like that. Okay, and then we're just going to um, bind it off. So just e-wrap and then take the loop and put it on the next one. Knit it over, e-wrap it, and then put on the last peg, and knit it over, whoop, there we go, and then e-wrap it, and knit it over, 
and then you can take it off here and then you're just going to take uh, a scissors and make sure you cut it long enough here and then um, take it through oh <laughs> I lost one of this one of the yarns here so I just have to fix that up three yarns are a bit messy there we go I'll tighten it up enough because I'm just going to be sewing that in anyway so I'm not too worried about it since I print the yarn came out then all you're going to do is attach it and you're just going to go in and attach it just in just inside like this and sew it in so you're going to take it from the outside put put uh, you can use the the needle and put it through and sew it on and uh, or you can sew it on in the inside however you like it okay so we'll just sew it on and um, and then we will look at it okay my handle is on and it's looking good and I decided it would look better from the inside but you can put it on the outside the inside however you like it however you like how like them and um, there it is and I will come out a bit Here. So there you go. There's the handles and here's the purse. Huh. There we go. All crooked. <laughs> there. But anyway, there it is. Purse and handle. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. And it's nice and thick too. Nothing's going to come out of it. You don't have to line it if you don't want to. Um, well, if yours is looser, you might have to, but I did mine nice and tight, and that's uh, Owl Eye Stitch, and so that's the Owl Eye Purse. So anyway, until next time, bye.